right in there. Gets the Oki there. Forward throw. She does have CA, but the punish counter from the Honda. And you can see that combo from the hands because he had the hands ability. He does like an extra chop at the end when he has his charge up ability. And it allows for another combo into more hands. The Street Fighter YouTube channel has been giving us some great developer matches of the game of the new characters and showing off how they will play in the final game. Last week we got Zangief versus Marissa, kind of the classic grappler versus the new brawler type character. And as you might have guessed, today we are taking a look at Lily versus E Honda. It's kind of cool how they're doing this. I feel like they're doing uh, a classic versus new school character, both of the similar type. You know, E Honda and Lily both try and pressure their way into, into a range where they can actually get their command grabs off but they do have some good neutral with their pressure type moves honda has his headbutt and lily has her condor spire i took a look at this match already as you can tell and i think it's a really good indication of how these two characters are going to play they show off a lot of the mechanics and a lot of how you use those mechanics in the game so um, i think this is a really good match if you're interested in playing either lily or honda or how you're going to have to fight against them because i think a lot of people are worried about how they are going to fight against e honda so today we're going to take another look through i will break it down break down the match as i see it and if you stick around to the end i'll give my thoughts on these two characters how i think they'll be played at a high level and kind of what you can expect from these characters in the long run before we get into it make sure to hit that subscribe button down below it helps the channel out a lot and let's get into it so first this is a new stage i think that they haven't shown maybe in the trailer they did they both power up right here after both getting knocked down they have power up abilities. Uh, Lily has her, I'm not sure what it's called, Condor Wind, maybe? Honda, I'm not sure what his is called, but you see the slap. And here is actually a very important thing. It looked like Lily tried to react with Drive Impact against the Honda um, Headbutt, and her Drive Impact actually got Drive Impacted back, so it wasn't a legit punish. Uh, and then at the end of that round, you know, the, the EX command grab. It seems like a lot of the command grabs do a lot of damage in this game. Spaced out. Condor Spire does seem to be plus. Some long range buttons from Lily. Charging up from the E Honda. Tried to parry something. You can see the charge up Condor Spire is plus even point blank. But the regular one does need to be spaced out. E Honda tries to drive rush in. Command grab. Look at that damage on the command grab. Command grabs do seem to do a lot of damage in the game. Plus frames on this, of course. And to not that much damage, EX headbutt. Get off me tool. That's his new run move, if you're not aware. Honda has a new run move that he can either go into the launcher or that like headbutt type thing. And then an EX Condor Spire to get in there. I'm not sure if we show if we see that on block. I assume the EX version would just be plus in general, even without the charge up. All right, just clashing right there, both charge up, why not? And Lily's probably gonna want to use her thing to get right in there, gets the Oki there, forward throw. She does have CA, but the punish counter from the Honda, and you can see that combo from the hands because he had the hands ability. Um, if you want to rewind, you can, but he does like an extra chop at the end when he has his uh, charge up ability and it allows for another combo into more hands. It looks like his EX run is plus from that, a back throw from Lily, and she's going to finish it off with a nice combo into her critical art. Maybe that's not critical art. I'm not actually sure if that was just her normal level three, but that is the finish there. All right, so I guess I'll talk about Lily first. Um, I think she is actually going to be a very simple character unless she has a new move that we don't know about. But I think her basic game plan is just going to be playing playing some footsies, playing some neutral with her buttons. She does have very good long range buttons. And then somehow trying to find uh, maybe a charge up into her Condor Wind or she could also spend her EX to get in there. And then once she gets in there, she can either decide to cash out with her command grab, go for like, I guess, 20% damage on the command grab or go into a combo that leaves her with Oki to go into another guess of command grab or not. And that's a change for command grab characters that seems to be universal that I like a lot um, from the change from Street Fighter 5 to Street Fighter 6. Like I, I kind of hated that th the fact that there were so many command grab characters in Street Fighter 6 that 
you take the command grab but you get put into the exact same position as you were before it's a lot more comfortable um not having to guess uh cons constantly no matter which uh option you pick so being able to take the option of just taking the command throw even though it's so much damage is is a nice uh change i think but look at that damage it's a great cash out option for lily uh, it seems like her level one does give her the uh opportunity to charge up her condor spire to get the or the condor wind to get get in there a lot easier so it seems like she does at least have a combo route with super to get the charge up um there will probably be routes with ex's too if i had to guess but that seems to be her basic game plan get those charge ups get in there and make that guess and being the simple character doesn't mean she's like not interesting or anything her her neutral game is definitely going to be a lot of fun to play with her buttons being able to manage those stocks for the condor win going to be very important to her game plan and i don't think we've seen her level two yet so that could be pretty interesting i wonder if that just powers up all of her moves for like a set time and she just goes ham uh like crazy for a while so i think for lily fans she does seem like a very interesting character i'm definitely interested in playing her as well all right let's wind it back up and talk about e honda a little bit he's changed a pretty drastic amount um, from Street Fighter 5, I think. In Street Fighter 5, he was all about the hands pressure. Um, but I don't think that seems to be the case anymore. At least not from what we can tell. It doesn't seem like he's just spamming hands to be plus on block. It seems like he's being a lot more patient with it. And headbutt actually does seem to be pretty important. Um, or at least not terrible, as like some people would have guessed because you can't just react and drive impact it. Um, it looked like Lily reacted relatively quickly to the to the headbutt and her drive impact actually did not punish. And you're gonna be really scared of missing your punish because if you miss your drive impact and they drive impact back, you can see what happened. He, uh, she basically lost a round because of it. She was put into a situation where uh, she took like 40% from a combo and then she had to guess for game basically. And you know, that's just not a position you want to be in against against a grappler type character in this game. Ihana has his classic moves, of course. That charge up does seem to be a great way to uh, just kind of cash out on his damage. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll see it uh, coming up, but as as I mentioned before, it basically makes it so that his 100 hand slap does like an extra chop at the end and he gets another jab into hands. Um, so just catches out for more damage. I'm not sure if it would make his uh, hands more plus on block or anything. I would actually guess it does if it does a chop no matter what. I would guess that um, it powers it up to be plus as well. Um, I doubt it does a Street Fighter 5 thing where you can cancel any button into it. Um, another interesting with Honda is that new run move that he has. Uh, you saw the EX run B plus in one of these uh, in one of these clips, which is very scary. I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about the EX runs uh, being plus in this game. Um, you have I think Kimberly has has plus options off of a run. Even the regular run, Kimberly can do the kick option, uh, the light kick option in B plus. So. Uh, it's going to have to be a lot of interrupting that kind of stuff if you're going to want to uh, have the counter play for it. Um, but it's a it's a very welcome move for him, I think. It opens up his combo opportunities a lot when his combos were pretty um, bland before. So I think that helps his character out a lot. Okay, so you saw the hand buff there. The hands actually goes into his super. And this is probably one of the coolest, if not the coolest super in the game, level threes in the game. He basically turns into the sumo wrestler that he is, creates the ring around her and pushes her out of the ring. Um, it's just super sick. The EX run there is plus um, the headbutt, of course, uh, one of his most important moves in the game. Glad that is not completely useless. Um, it's very interesting how uh, they had to balance these types of moves. Um, but I do think at a high level, um, Headbutt and Condor Spire, you can't just throw them out in neutral without setting something up first because uh, the really good players, 
like drive impact might not work but parry definitely will punish those and parry is only a two frame window so it's going to be pretty hard especially if they mix up which versions they are doing to mix up the timings um, but if they get that perfect parry, you are taking a pretty big punish for a move that you're just sticking out in neutral. So you're definitely going to have to keep those in mind if you're playing these types of characters where you're doing those kinds of attacks. But just as a side note for Lily, I do think she does have block strings into her powered up counter exploiter so it doesn't apply completely. I think that is actually a just get in move if you have the charge up. So if you're gonna wanna stop her, you kinda just have to stop her from getting the stocks and not let her get them in the first place. Anyways, that's going to be it for, for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this footage of Lily and Ihana. Let me know in the comments what you think of these two characters. Leave a like down below, leave a subscribe on the video and I'll catch you in the next one.